What's going on, you guys? How's it going this evening? It's David here. Got some fuzzies. Still got more fuzzies. Weird. All right. It's just about 8:30 in the p.m. Oh, sorry. Still got this cough going on. The doctor. I went to the doctor today. <coughs> Gave me some antibiotics. But there were, in, in the household that I'm in, there are two confirmed cases of strep, and they did a throat swab on me, and didn't have any. It wasn't, it was negative. <coughs> <coughs> so it's probably just the same cold that everybody else had. And then some other school children, uh, the little, 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 little kids, school children, have strep. My nieces, my two nieces have strep over here. So he just went ahead and gave them antibiotics, which is, I don't know, probably because I'm supposed to have a suppressed immune system. <coughs> Anyways, I was thinking about something today, and I wanted to talk about the worst prank I ever pulled. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> now when I say the worst prank I ever pulled, this was a prank that I pulled on myself a couple days ago. It was really cold outside. It was pretty cold inside. <coughs> so I fell asleep with a blanket over my head. And I had thrown up earlier that day, earlier that morning, or earlier that evening. Derp, derp, derp. I gotta keep this wet. If I can suppress my cough that way. He did prescribe me some, I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a cough syrup with codeine in it. And I don't mind taking it. I just don't like taking it. Because it kind of makes me sleepy. Really quickly. But. It was really cold. And. I pulled my blanket over my head. And I fell asleep. And I woke up. Dying up. was I Dutch ovened myself I was passing gas in the blanket that I was rolled up in with my head in and I was just like that is so horrible why would you do that to me I do through my feeding tube I do baking soda and some other meds every day and Along with that comes getting some air in the tube, in the feeding tube, which then goes into my intestines and stomach, and <coughs> then it has to be passed as gas, so, you know, it is what it is, but hindsight's always twenty twenty. you look back and you're like, oh, man, I should have just dealt with the cold. You know, I quickly set up and I threw up in my bucket and I'm like, oh, why did I do that? Oh, man, why would I do that to myself? Anyways, I just wanted to tell that little story real quick, even though some of you guys are going to find it disgusting and that's okay, I'm sorry. I'm telling it to myself to watch it later. My mom showed me a picture this morning of me just about a year ago. <coughs> Just about a year ago, and it's really loud. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep, but I actually looked pretty good. I mean, I know I look really good now, but you're welcome, ladies. But <laughs> as I put a snot, snot bubble out of my nose and laugh at the same time, um, I looked really well. 
and other pictures I've seen that look like, you know, just kind of derped out. But this one, I was, you know, nicely shaven, not shaven, but trimmed, and my hair was clean cut, and, <coughs> and this was a year ago today, or a year ago yesterday, I don't remember which one, but anyhow, I just wanted to come in and share that story, thank you guys for watching, and if you don't mind, please go to bed, better every day. Make today as good as you possibly can. And smile as much as you possibly can. And hopefully I can be heard. But if not, you know, it is what it is. <coughs> Pardon me. Smile as much as you possibly can. And, you know, like and comment. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and subscribe if you like what I talk about. Share it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. You guys have an amazing night. Thank you guys for watching, and I love you guys. Another snap button.